how to save for those big items. Hello and welcome to Mr. and the Mrs. And uh, today we're going to be talking about how we're able to go to Europe and how we're able to buy a house at such a young age and just uh, be able to save up for like new cars and just those big items where you're like, I have no clue how I'm going to get that money without getting a loan. Um, yeah, well, at least sometimes you have to resort to a loan. Well, sometimes you do, but yeah. at least like getting a good down payment like braces yeah. and stuff, it's kind of like, I don't want to get such a big loan to where I'm paying a huge monthly uh... So our biggest thing is that to save up for what is really 100% necessary we actually we sit down and we write on a piece of paper what is you know on the top of our list what's on the bottom of our list what our um, our fun goals are yeah. what our house goals are mm -hmm. what timeline for them and just being really flexible with that as well so I mean that definitely helps in the saving aspect mm -hmm. one of the things we did is that so technically we have a car loan right now but we were able to get our car loan under $200 which helps like mm -hmm. crazy was, every month. We had to figure out like hey how much can we spend cuz we like we need a new car. We don't have money to buy a good car which is reliable. Jesse needed a, a car and for the baby a, for the and baby and work being pregnant. And, yeah. So we're like all right, well we do need a specific car and it needs to be about this year and stuff so we knew what we wanted what we could sacrifice a little bit and know how much we could spend monthly and then we saved up uh, a little extra on the side and did a down payment that got us down to uh, the month to month payment that we could afford mm -hmm. other things that I I like to do to purchase bigger items is to take small amount out of each paycheck and put it on the side in a little side fund and say, all right, this well, and is... for tithing and all that. Yeah, kind of tithing and it's like, all right, this is what the money that we're going to put towards so and such and such. And, and then have a set timeline for it too. Like, mm -hmm. be like, okay, we want this to be done by this date. So mm -hmm. let's take that payment and split it up and, you know, really get down to the nitty gritty of what we do and don't need. Yeah. Which definitely, that's one of the biggest things is really putting down what you don't, what you do need, what you don't need. Mm -hmm. um, also when it comes to purchasing other things, like do, do we really need that? No, mm, let's not mm -hmm. buy it. And that's kind of, we did mention it earlier, kind of like we don't have cable. We kind of mm -hmm. keep the furnace down a little bit. And it's sacrifice. actually really cold in here. My nose yeah. is freezing. We'll have to put on sweatshirts and stuff. But we when the baby comes, that's one of the we'll, things we'll have we'll to have sacrifice to bump is bumping up our heating and mm -hmm. you know bumping up the bills for that, which is I'm totally okay with. I rather not have a sick kid, you know. It works. It works for us. Uh, it's hard. It's hard sometimes, you know, when you really want to go out with your friends and stuff like that. Like usually when we go to a restaurant, we'll just get water, mm -hmm. and you know every once in a while we'll get like a you know, a yummy fruity drink or something yeah. like that. Um, that definitely helps like insanely. Cause if you think about it, like a bar drink most of the time is like six to $10. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have that, you know, that's $10 every visit. And you know, it really adds up. So yeah, we've kind of sacrificed going out with friends and whatnot, but I mean, or that, we'll just have people over and then, which that you know, actually saves a lot. You make your own, yeah. you make your own food and then you're at, in the comfort of your home mm -hmm. comfort with friends and family and you don't have to worry about being loud or anything. And yeah, that's, that's, nice. that's also very nice. You know, we have the two back bedrooms that both need carpet and we, cause we already, we already like spent more money than we thought, actually less money than we thought with, um, getting the walls finished and the yeah. kitchen finished. Yeah. And so, so technically like and the doing it ourselves, needs to be done. Doing it ourselves, oh my gosh, it helps a lot. Yeah. But I mean, with the carpeting and stuff like that back there, we won't be able to do ourselves yeah. technically. So technically, if we can do it or we can learn how to do it without mm -hmm. screwing everything up, we'll, yeah. we'll do it because that saves money. So that's kind of how we save our money and kind of save up for those items. Let us know in the comments down below how you pinch your pennies and we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Tag thing. It's cold in here. It is very cold. <laughs> <laughs>
That's how we save up for vacation. That's how we're saving money. It's cold. 